Hey guys, Evan Rourke here, back with another video, and today we're going to be doing my top five favorite sci-fi movies. Now, I know that you're going to obviously think, well, Godzilla better be in this top five sci-fi list, given that there are actual Godzilla figures behind me, but a lot of my recent top fives have been about Godzilla, so I kind of just want to not include it in this list, if that's okay. Also, given the fact that there are plenty of other sci-fi movies that are really well-known that aren't Godzilla. So anyway, let's get into number five. At number five, we have Alien. This choice is a pure classic that represents sci-fi given the very title of the film. Alien was amazing for creating a real fear behind the xenomorph creature that kills the Nostromo crew. Alan Ripley's tense journey of being the sole survivor that at many times could have been killed by the creature is what the audiences loved about this film, given the pure suspense that came with it. Not to mention the countless times where everyone had thought that the alien was killed or stopped only for it to emerge more powerful and deadly than before. And number four, we have Planet of the Apes. Planet of the Apes is a franchise that still has major movies releasing to this day, such as the more recent Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes that I have yet to see. Planet of the Apes was a revolutionary film by creating a concept that was so different from any other film, given a world that is no longer controlled by humans, but by apes. Of the original six films, I sadly only view the first two as being spectacular, but it didn't stop the reboots that would soon come, and that would also be viewed by most audiences as amazing. At number three, we have Back to the Future. While Back to the Future didn't start a giant franchise, as did the others that have or have not been mentioned on this list, it remains widely known by the general public despite the last film being made in 1990. Most popular sci-fi films suffer from the consistent sequels that taint the legacy of the original idea in mind. Back to the Future did not have this problem. It regulated itself to three very good films that developed character arcs, romances, and heightened the tension of what time travel can do in new and inventive ways that no time travel movie had ever done before. At number two, we have Star Trek II, Wrath of Khan. For my own sake, I can admit there's a bit of bias here given Wrath of Khan was my first sci-fi movie I saw in full around the time I was five years old. It would pave the way for me to enjoy more sci-fi franchises like Star Wars and Godzilla while still respecting the film for being great in and of itself. What makes this film so great is that it delivers on what sci-fi should all be about. Epic spaceships and space battles that quite literally take up a majority of the movie and manage to save Star Trek from certain ruin after the failure of Star Trek 1 the motion picture. It brought back the nostalgia for many fans from the original Star Trek TV series made in the late 1960s and did so by bringing back a villain, Khan, from one of the more popular episodes of the series, Space Seed. At number one, we have Star Wars V, The Empire Strikes Back. Empire Strikes Back deserves number one on this list because of its ability to distance itself from New Hope while still following New Hope's story and building on the main heroes. All the while, the Empire and Darth Vader are still just as much of a threat if not worse. Empire Strikes Back is yet again viewed as one of the few sequels that is considered better than the first film by most Star Wars fans and general moviegoers. The twist of Vader being Luke's father is still known as being the best story twist in cinema to date. I am the father. And the film itself is considered the best of all nine Star Wars films to this day. Now keep in mind, I've chosen these films not only because they were well known, but because they were revolutionary. Each of them had completely different concepts and ideas that really changed the way we view sci-fi movies today. So much so, in fact, that there are a lot of movies being made now that are sequels to these films, or at least done so similar to the point where it's really just a copy and paste film based off the ones on this list. But anyways, I hope you guys respect my opinion, and also feel free to share your top five favorite sci-fi movies in the comment section below. Hope you enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe. See you guys later, and bye-bye.